Good afternoon, and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. I am going to tackle some of this tree with my tiny little chainsaw. This will be the first time I've ever used a chainsaw. So luckily it's a little guy. should be fun. I have my helper. Not very helpful, but he's out here, so. All right, let's see what kind of damage we can do. It's a little chilly out here. It's, uh, we got that storm coming through. I think we're just gonna get some rain, but The cold front is moving towards us, so. All right, let me just start with a clean one here. Hey, Benny, come on, buddy, come here. Pretty slick. That's awesome. That worked a lot better than I thought. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect it to be that quick. Hi. Very helpful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. You being there is very helpful. Thanks, buddy. Everybody's wondering why I don't get anything done. Hi, can you go? What's that? What's that? Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. So I don't know if you guys remember, but this is the chainsaw that my mom got me. My mom got my sister and I each one, and I think she got one for herself. This thing's pretty slick. I don't know if all chainsaws are like this. This is my first experience with a chainsaw, but it's pretty slick. I kind of like this. Way faster work than the choppers, so that's nice. What's gonna be funny is if I'm not cutting these to the right length and they all have to be recut, that'd be great. you guys but this was a giant black walnut tree and black walnuts make it very difficult to grow things within 30 feet so we had to take it out for the good of the garden and it was dying so it just kind of needed to go before it fell I don't like gloves. I don't like these gloves. I don't like any kind of gloves, so that's a negative, I think. But. Nice. 
we do have a bigger chainsaw. We have a DeWalt battery powered chainsaw, but I don't like using the bigger tools that are both Big K's and mine because I don't want to ruin them. This one, my mom specifically gave to me. So like if I ruin it or if I break it, plus this one's a little easier. It's just kind of very simple construction. So I could probably figure it out myself, which is a positive. Hey Ben, that's not your fence line, buddy. I can't believe I was using the loppers for this. This is awesome. Yeah. I'm being told that I'm limited on the size of the branch that I can do. Because of how big the chainsaw is, you can only go a certain size. But if I can do all this little stuff, and I don't have to try to use a loppers for it and we don't have to waste the bigger chainsaw on it. That'd be cool. So all these other piles, this pile of tiny little like leafy stuff and this pile and this pile took me forever because I was lopping off big branches to get those little and we just did this in minutes. It's crazy. You guys aren't watching the beagle by the way. Beagle, come back. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come on. And I'll show you guys if you made it this far in the video, I will show you the color. I'm, I'm going to still continue to do this, but I think you've seen enough of it. I really like that saw. I really like it. It's a C, a seesaw, if you all want one. If you're small like me, and you got a thing about big pieces of equipment and blades in general, I'll tell you a story on the way over to show you the color of the walls. It's a CC saw. I like it. It's working well for me. Um. I used to build a lot with my grandparents, build big garages and such. And uh, that's where I got most of my construction experience from. And then when I got to high school, we had a class where we could build and remodel houses. So I've done this before. But um, I was working with a group of guys that had years and years and decades of carpentry experience. And one of them used a table saw and put a 
thing of nail gun nails to push as a pusher and cut the tip of his finger off. And ever since then, I've kind of been a little iffy on the saw blades and operation of them. Okay, so here's what you all have been wanting to see. The color of the house. This is what they call light stone. It matches the red shed. So roof, light stone, all of the trim will be light stone. And the walls will be hunter green. That's what we've decided. That's what we're going with. I'm happy with it. There was some debate as to whether we should go with the red like we did on the shed or not. And I don't know. I kind of didn't, part of me was like, well, it'd be cool if it all matched. The other part of me was like, do I really want to confuse my house with a shed? So, hunter green and rustic red with light stone roofs. I think it'll look good. But, that's the color. I don't know when it'll be put up. And I was getting kind of tired of trying to hide it. So there you have it. Those are the colors. Our garlic is doing good. I should probably mulch it, but yeah, it's doing really good. I didn't get onions put in. I'm just gonna do sets. Too much. Big K's had quite a bit of doctor's appointments and stuff. His shoulder is doing much better. Um, his ribs are doing better. He's able to do more for himself, which is good. Um, so, yeah. He's on the road to recovery, doing better. So, wow, it's chilly. I gotta get back to work. Hey, monkey! Y'all lost the beagle again. Benny! There he is. Come on, bud. Come here, pal. <laughs> you see him? Alright, so I'm going to get back to cutting up some of this tree. Um, I think there's a guy coming over. The guy that's been helping us is going to come over and help me move that metal. The guy that let us use his trailer needs his trailer to get some logs. He's got a sawmill. He makes his own boards and such. So he needs the trailer to get some logs. So we got to get that off and then get that back to him. And I gotta empty out the truck because we gotta go to town at some point. I don't know when. I don't know when we're going to town. But we gotta go to town and get... Oof. Maybe some more of the zip. To seal up the rafters up here. And we have to get more of these floorboards to finish the second floor. Hey, be careful back there. So we'll need the truck for that. So I'll have to empty out the cab of the truck to make sure that everybody can fit. Because we got some, it's kind of since it's been on the trailer, it's kind of just been a storage place for 
Like right now, it looks like the only things in here are for the wood stove. So, but I gotta get in here and figure out the door, the back door doesn't always work. And so, well, it worked, and then it didn't. And we figured out why it didn't work. Uh, and Big K bought more than just one of the fix. And now it doesn't work again, so I don't know if that's because we didn't secure it well enough or what. But that's the deal. I guess since I'm over here, I could just clean this out. So that's what's happening. Sorry, it's been slow. I've really been like down in the dumps about just telling you guys this is what I want to do, but I can't do it. So, you know, I'm just, that's not exactly what I want this to be. I want this to be more of something that we can, that I can show you and we can all be a part of it and, you know, and I just wasn't able to do that for a while. It's been wearing on me. So I'm finally coming up with, I'm making Big K make lists of things that he is okay with me doing by myself. And then I can work off of that list as opposed to me looking at the biggest thing that needs to be done, such as getting that metal off that trailer. Well, that's something that I think I can do the small pieces by myself, but Big K's not too convinced. So I don't want to, you know, start doing something and then me get hurt and now we're both hurt. So I'm making him make lists of things that he knows or sees that needs to be done that I can do and then I can just work off of that list as opposed to getting irritated that I can't do anything. So that's what we're doing. Oh, somebody's a lucky dude that it didn't get cold and have this explode. You know who you are and you're lucky. So, that's what I'm doing. That's what I will be doing. It's gonna be quite the day here, but it is what it is. I'm really kind of disappointed that I haven't gotten mail. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be disappointed because, you know, with mail can come bills and such, adulting, but I like mail. All right, well. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will let you get back to your lives. I have quite a few names I'm gonna run by you all about our channel group and what we wanna call it. So, on your way back down the hill, if you wouldn't mind liking, sharing, and subscribing, hitting that little bell notification button thingy down there, that helps me out a lot and I really greatly appreciate it. And I have dogs, so thank you. I appreciate y'all.